So we were talking before about plein page. So this is an exaggerated um, impression of what plein page is. What we're looking at here is handmade paper, much thicker than normal, uh, much rougher edges than normal. The artist was um, influenced a great deal by the caves in southern France where there are cave drawings on the wall. And if you look at this and you take the time to look at it, you see that there's actually a figure seated in here. And the paper lends itself to the rough walls that you would expect uh, being natural to a cave wall. Um, the surface, I wanted to highlight that. So what I did is I raised the artwork. This is a painting on paper. What I did is I raised it from the back to create shadow lines. So now I've highlighted all the ragged edges of the artwork uh, by raising it. Because by creating the shadow, you then pronounce all the discoloration that's in there. The back, the backing on here, the back matting is actually material. So it's almost as if it were silk. It's actually fine cotton because the stitching reflects light differently underneath it. Because of the raised and lowered surfaces of the weave of the material, the white is a lot flatter uh, than it would be otherwise. And this is what's called a shadow box framing. Shadow box framing means that we've taken the same mat board that is in the background. We've cut uh, here in this context of three quarters of an inch uh, pieces and we inlaid it on the side in order to separate the glass from the artwork and to give it room to breathe and to well to me it's a visual thing as well uh, it gives it room to breathe and the ability to stand at an angle to the artwork not only face on by the way that's an item that's an important thing a good work of art is a work of art that when you walk across it it actually changes. You can see the difference because as you walk across landscape or across your room, things look different. If a painting only works if you're looking at it straight on or an artwork only works if you're looking at it straight on, in my opinion, that's a failing. So by walking across this, especially since it has all that texturing in it and the definition lines of the shadow, what by having the glass further away, you, I get the impression that it's actually just encased in a box and I don't want to see the glass.